Welcome back, friends and DGens. Last time on Mike Reardon Part-Time Poker Pro, I went to Las Vegas to play in the $10,000 World Series of Poker main event. Someone clearly tried to sabotage my trip by giving me COVID. I don't know who exactly, but my gut tells me it was one of these three goofballs. At the start of day two, I felt so unbelievably sick that I could barely drag myself out of bed to start the 12 hour day. After six hours of unbearable misery, the game paused for a 75 minute dinner break. So I crashed on the nasty floor in the hallway of the Paris Casino, uncertain if I could even finish the tournament tonight. This is vlog 19, how to crush the world series of poker main event. Hey, and if you like my content, please like the video, please subscribe to all the YouTube stuff, thank you. And now we join our hero, still sleeping peacefully on the disgusting casino carpet after the dinner break concluded. Ah, what the hell? Get up, part-time. The tournament restarted an hour ago. Oh, you need to go back. I can't. I'm way too sick. I think I have COVID. I should probably go quarantine so I don't get anyone else sick. Look around you. Every player here already has COVID, and most of them still think it's a China hoax. They'll be fine, but you will be eliminated if you don't get up. Oh, that's fine. I'm about to lose anyway. I'm card dead. I can't focus. And my life partner keeps ignoring my calls. I'm just going to give up. I'll try again next year. Don't quit. If you just steal the blinds a couple times, you'll easily survive tonight. You can still win this thing. Just go back and play. I wish I could, mysterious stranger, but I'm so exhausted from the virus that I skipped dinner to sleep on the disgusting casino floor. I'll fetch you a cup of coffee. No then. more coffee. The six cups I drank earlier today have been tearing up my insides. Then eat some dinner and get back in the game. That's the problem. My body will violently purge everything as soon as I eat, so I can't risk it. Unless, of course, you find a dish that's easy going down, but hardens like concrete once swallowed. It just so happens that I came with this. Eat now, regain your strength, and finish the tournament. Oh my god. Alvita shells and cheese. This won't cure your illness, but it will refuel you enough to finish playing the tournament. Power wow. restored. This stuff is like quick free. All primary systems mm. on When I consumed the conveniently mac and cheese on the stained carpet of the Paris Las Vegas, I felt the power and memories of a thousand degenerate part-time gamblers flowing through my veins to lend me their mediocre poker experience. Suddenly I could spot everyone's tells, instantly calculate pot odds, and hear my opponent's thoughts. I became supercharged, and I even understood GTO better than any computer ever could. No, tell the story right. What? That didn't happen, you're making stuff up again, and I didn't ignore any of your calls. It did happen that way, it really did. Really, you understood GTO? Yes, yes. Then what the hell is GTO, huh? Mm. Hmm? Well. Huh? Oh, for Christ's sake. All right, I can't explain it now, because the magic mac and cheese already wore off. Huh? But everyone knows why you're here. You're here for your 3% cut of the win. 5%? You told me 5%, not 3 Don't get cheap on me. Okay, fine. But I can't pay out your 5% until I finish the stories. So can I please continue? Or should I delay the video another two weeks? Okay, I'm sorry. All right, thank you. God, I feel ready to win the whole tournament. Thank you for helping me, stranger. But who are you? I'm just a DJ, friend. Psychic Panda, you son of a bitch! But how did you know I needed help? I'm Psychic. Oh yeah. Now, I'll teleport you back to your seat using my Psychic Panda map. Oh, you don't have to do that. There's a door right over there. Godspeed, part-time. Oh. Remember, play the man, not the hand. <sighs> Sir, there's no eating at the table. Oh, sorry. Refreshed from my nap and Mac, I was ready to finish the last four hours of day two. I still felt really sick, but it felt less like a bludgeoning hammer on my head and more like a nagging, muffled echo. Easy to ignore, like when your wife asked you for money during an episode of South Park and you laugh at all the jokes extra loud to pretend not to hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's level 9. Blinds are 1,500. I don't know exactly what my stack was, but it was definitely less than when I started today at 81,000 chips. I had a lot of work to do. And look, I don't have footage of all these hands. I entered them in the app while under the influence of COVID, Claritin, coffee, and Velveeta shells and concrete. So I'm just gonna breeze through some of them. And if you notice some details are wrong, make sure to let me know in the comments. Cause I'll fix it. What's the point in correcting me? In the, Let's start with Cowboys versus Queens and the big blind. We win a 36,000 pot. 
Part time. If I win this next hand, I'm a genius. But if I lose, the game is rigged. I honor the 45th president when I pretend that I have something big and great, but I don't actually want anyone to know that my cards are small and pathetic and it hurts when I pee. Play the man, not the hand. But the cards don't matter because my semi bluff gets through against AJ Soprano and Zooks for a 15k pot. Part time. Ah. A few hands later, Zooks opens under the gun to 3,000. He's trying to buy the blinds for cheap because he's barely got any chips left. Play the man. I don't even know what I have, but I'm not gonna let it through. If you want to play Ace Rag, you're gonna have to pay eight grand, my dude. Zooks stares at me with a gaze so ferocious that I wasn't sure if he wanted to jam all in or serenade me with a smooth bass solo and a thousand bottles of baby oh, oil. I know it's pretty, baby. I didn't take it out for air. That's nice. Zooks folds and saves his energy for the freak off later that night. I'm firing on all cylinders. Part time. Suddenly day two was over and we bagged for the night. Even with all the coffee, the dinner nap, and the magic mac and cheese, I still felt more exhausted than I've ever felt before. We have a day off before we return to start day three on Tuesday, July 9th. So that means I have all day Monday to rest and try and beat this cold before I have to play again. If anybody needs a day off, it's part time. I was so ready to crash, but considering how desperate I was, I had no choice but to break the number one rule in tournament poker. Never, ever, ever shower. But screw the rules. That shower was heavenly. Thank God for that day off because I needed it. I didn't leave my room, I didn't call anyone, I didn't eat anything. All I did was sleep. I think if I didn't have this break, I probably would have quit. Now I did take a COVID test that I picked up at CVS on my way back the night before. The test verified that I did in fact have the hot new variant that dropped earlier this summer. I'm more or less immunized. Now that I confirmed that I had COVID, I really wanted to know who gave it to me. Was it James Squeaks on Friday? John E on Thursday? Slow Poker on Wednesday? Or even Fat Charlene, the overweight, always sweaty showgirl that coughed at me on the bus from the airport. Now that I'm saying it out loud, it's pretty obvious who gave it to me. It was that nasty bitch that kissed me when she dropped me off at the airport. Thanks for giving me COVID, Kayla. If I lose, it's all your fault. Part time. An hour before day three started, I nervously prepared for another long and grueling day. It was unpleasant. Even after I slept all day yesterday, I still felt so tired and weak that I couldn't see, think, or pee straight. The nearest urgent care was just a couple of blocks away. But what would a fancy doctor even say? Yeah, you have COVID. You better quarantine for a week. No gambling. You don't want to spread the virus, do you? Drink plenty of fluids, especially this horse paste. Did Fat Charlene send you? Quarantine to stop the spread or go gamble all day. I faced an impossible choice. Should I do the right thing or quarantine and go back to bed? I wasn't sure what to do, but luckily my life partner finally called me back to weigh in. God, I miss you so much. I'd feel so much better if you were out here with me. Everything hurts. I have a fever. I can barely see straight. And I don't know if I can endure another miserable day. Jeez, Mike, I've never seen you so depressed. And as your life partner, I'm very worried. Also, I'm trying to take a shit. But I could never forgive myself if I gave someone else COVID. I think I should go to the hospital. Well, if you are feeling so great, you should take an ice bath. That'll bring you back to life. Get the fuck out of here. An ice bath, really? Trust me, bro. And also, don't worry about COVID. Nobody in Vegas gives a fuck about that. Okay, I'll give it a try. Bye! Holy cow, that bath did the trick. No cap. Kayla, did you did you hear me? I used it right this time. Kayla! I felt so much better that I left the infectious, dripping wet pigsty of my hotel and rushed over to the Paris to start day three. I'm going back with 81,000 chips or about, I think it's 32 big blinds. I'm ready to crush this tournament. Time to win some flips. Now let's rapid fire these out. Ace King versus Pocket Sixes for almost half my stack. Bink! Part time. Pocket Aces. Two other players. Dry ass board. Bet. Bet. Scoop. Easy 20K. Part time. 
Hey, where'd all my chips go? I've only got 20 big blinds left. No time to explain. I jam 60K with Ace Queen. Scoop up the blinds for some easy money. Mark time. 68K stack with pocket tens and big stack gentle bend raises me. Easy shove. He calls me with pocket sevens. Mark time. Pocket nines? What, you think I'm scared just because I busted out of the main event last year on day three with pocket nines? Hell no! I dare the gods of poker to do it again right now! I shove for 79,000. Scoop the blind. Not this time, poker gods. Mark time. And for the penultimate hand of day three, I somehow find two aces and a caller with two kings. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Coming out of Nearly a 200,000 chip pot. We're up to 38 big blinds now. My excitement was through the roof. I've got goosebumps. My heart is racing. My fingies tingling. I imagine that this is how God must feel when he runs deep in the main event. And everyone at my table was excited for me too. Now try your bullshit. Going into day four, we got 172,000 chips. That's 21 big blinds. We've got a cash basically in the bag. I'm super happy, super excited. I still feel like I just feel better than I did yesterday and I feel much better than I did on Sunday. Don't forget to take your fiber. Now that the worst of the virus was behind me, I was almost at full power again. Oh, look what's 70% off. They got some of those nasty looking hats. 70% off of Dear God. We arrive at the Paris and the room was buzzing with all the shared excitement from the remaining 1,529 players. Once 12 more players are eliminated, the rest of us will win at least $15,000, up to $10 million for first place. Hey, it's another hey, fan up? of the hey, channel. Hey, call me part-time. Hey, part-time, how you doing? Hey, what's up? I am pumped. Let's play day four. And my table just wants to tank. Every turn, every hand, at least six players. Tank, tank, tank for 60 seconds or more. And they're all hoping to wait out to the money bubble. Heck, I'm not judging. I've had to sweat the bubble plenty of times. And you gotta do what you gotta do. But that just means it's easier for me to steal some pots. Let's go, let's do Let's get it in, let's gamble. Don't even look at the second one, let's go. Is it suited at least? Suited you can call. <laughs> I'm having fun, joking with the table, and even posting real-time updates on my channel and still effortlessly stealing pots at the main event. That was when I knew I was finally playing at full health, full strength, and full power. And it feels amazing. After 45 minutes or so, the room erupted in cheers. Some stupid f***ing asshole with 120 big blind 7 bet jammed his pocket kings into the only other player at his table that had a bigger stack and a better hand! Can I possibly fold kings in this same position? Yes! King absolutely f***ing yes, I'd fold those god f***ing kings! But that's why I love this game. Even with all these players that pay $100 a month to study whatever the f PTO is, there are still way more players that will donk away their massive stacks at every step of the way. We're in the money! Part time. And just like every other time I'm in the money, Kayla immediately called me up to ask for more gambling cash. Oh my god, DraftKings sent you another 20% parlay boost? Max $10? You don't say! Well, we better bet it fast before they realize their mistake! I make a perfect all-in shove of 5.6 big blinds because I know Seat 9's 2 big blind open is a weak attempt to steal the blinds, and I know he's not gonna call. Oh. Well, I know that my King 10 off is better than the garbage he's playing. Oh. Well, I know I'll smash the flop, and I really need the double up. Can you feel that? I'm at full power now, and it's about to heat up. We're gonna go nuts in there! I was about to stand up and put my backpack on for the extra oh, equity. Yeah. equity Part time. In the hijack with pocket sevens. Then when the action folds to me, I open with a full power shove of 166,000. Euro tank defends his button and calls with ace queen suited. Full power! I turn a set and river a boat for a juicy double up to 362,000 chip. Yeah. 
About time. <laughs> Hard time. In the hijack again, and I'm on a mission to punish Stan Darsh for bullying the little guys and stealing blinds with his trash. His standard 2.2 big blind open is no match for my full power all in for uh, 160,000? Fuck! God damn it. When did I lose half my stack? Where's that video? Wait a second, he called, and he has a terrible hand! Let's go! We hit the flop with full power and scoop a 360,000 chip pot. Stan Darsh is smoldering and keeps giving me dirty looks. Don't be mad at me, dude. You're the one who called me with that bullshit. Part time. In the last hour of day four, I shoved with ace-10 off. It was a good shove, a great shove, the best shove. Look, it was the perfect shove, a lot of people say so. But that dummy Stan Darsh was still mad at me for surviving the other hand, so he called me with another crappy hand. <laughs> Pocket fives! But I couldn't find an ace or a 10, so those fives knocked me out in 526th place for $35,000 and I was out of the main event. Honestly, I don't even know why he bothered to call. I mean, he barely even won. But that's poker, baby, and I'll always be excited for a big win. So now I'm two for three in main event caches, which means I can start charging a markup when I sell action. Even though it isn't the $10 million first prize, I'm still extremely proud of what I accomplished. Why, just a couple of days ago, worried that I might die during the dinner break, I laid on the stained carpet in the Paris Casino hallway and wrote out my will just to make certain that Kayla can't steal my retirement from my secret second wife, Fat Charlene, and our two kids out here in Vegas. But I endured. I pushed through the pain and I snatched another epic win. But I'm way out of the hard rock. I did stop and play a little bit of the video poker because that's always Kayla's favorite part of Ryan DePaulo's videos. Well, that's enough of Vegas for me. I cashed out, and before you know it, I was back home in Michigan with one of my biggest tournament caches ever. Hey, I'm rich again! Oh my god, baby, I'm so proud of you. You're so good at poker. Yeah, yeah, and check it out. Now that I got money, Kayla suddenly wants to be in the vlog again. You're not too tired today, are ya? <laughs> You're so funny and smart and good at poker. Hey, what was that Silent Aces test? The what? Oh, the Silent Aces. Yeah, yeah, there was a couple of them. We gotta play a tournament while hallucinating, uh, win the main event, final table of the main event, cash in the main event, okay. Uh, okay, so we have sleep on the casino floor for number seven, cash in the main event for number eight. But, I mean, you need ten tasks total, right? So, I mean, you could do another one, right? Yeah, in another video. Like when I go to Firekeepers in Battle Creek, Michigan to play in my favorite tournament. The MSPT $1,100 main event this October. I'll be there Friday and Saturday, October 11th and 12th. And if you're coming to Firekeepers, feel free to come say hi and tell me how much you love the show. If you buy me a whiskey, some mac and cheese, or my $1,100 entry fee, I just might put you in the vlog. Oh, and that reminds me. Firekeepers banned me from booking a room because of the unholy toilet clog that Wayne left when he abandoned me here last May. So, I need a place to stay. And don't worry, that clog was definitely Wayne and not me. Message me if you have a room or if you live nearby and you don't mind cooking me breakfast. Hey, wait, what about my 5%? Isn't that like 1750? Right, right, right. Your 5%. Well, it's not exactly that simple. First, we have to do Poker Man! <laughs> I won 35,000 from a 10,000 buy-in. Now that's only a 25,000 profit. Okay, so 5% is like $1,000? Would you let me So it's only a 25k profit. Taxes are going to run approximately 25% of the net. So that knocks it down to just over 18,000. I also sold half my action to Psychic Panda for some mac and cheese. So I have to pay out 12,000 more, bringing us down to just over 6,000 in profit. Then there's the $900 for the hotel, $250 for the flight to Vegas, $1,500 for the first class flight home from Vegas, and I earned that. Also the $370 credit card fee to buy into the tournament because you forgot to remind me to go to the bank before I left. $1,000 slow poker photo fee, $35 a day allowance for two weeks, about 500 bucks, $300 on merch at the World Series of Poker gift shop, no peek until your birthday, my birthday in March, $500 for the new 3D printer that I bought for us, and $400 from the video poker segment you wanted me to do because that's the only part of Ryan DePaulo's videos that you like to watch. I didn't tell you to play video. So that brings the total profit down to $285. Hey, where are you going, baby? Do you want your 5% cut? Can you break a 20, baby? You worked so hard for it. So you don't want it? Okay. 